Hi, and welcome back to part three of getting started with the Gibbets DAB. In this video, we are going to use, deploy the user interface for the backend servers that we started in the previous video. For any questions or errors, just join us on Slack using this URL and post any of your technical questions in the dev team channel. Okay, so out of the three servers that make up our Giveth DAP, we are going to deploy this one, and this is the port it will be running on. So let's begin with the instructions on GitHub. Okay, here they are on the README, and we are just going to follow along. So step one, star this repo. Looks like I already did it, um, but thank you for starring it. It's such a small and easy gesture, but it really helps signal the GitHub community that we are trying our best to make useful open source software. So the next step is to join our Slack. Surprise, surprise, if you haven't already. Okay, then go ahead and fork this repo. and continue to follow along with the instructions from your own fork. All right, so go ahead and clone this repo. Just click this. And then go to your terminal. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab. And go to my desired directory, git clone, and then I'm gonna paste that link I copied from GitHub. Okay, here we are. So the next step is to change directories into the folder we just downloaded. And then you wanna make sure that you have these requirements. So again, just to save ourselves a lot of trouble, I'm just going to double check And if you have anything lower than this or you get an error, you're going to want to stop here and get those requirements and the appropriate versions before moving on. OK, so once you've done that, you can just say npm install, enter. Excellent. And this is going to go ahead and take another five minutes. And we are back. Looking back at the instructions, uh, the first thing they say is that we need to deploy the feathers giveth. However, we just did that in the last video. And as you can see, I have the blockchain and the cache still running from before. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is to create a file called .env.local uh, with these three lines. So going back to the command line, I'm going to create this file in nano, but you can use whatever you want to create this file at the root of the giveth dap directory. So I'm going to type nano.env.local. And then I'm going to save myself a lot of trouble and copy and paste, control C, control V. And then I'm going to say control O, enter to write it, and then control X to exit. So once this file is saved, just type npm start, enter, and this will take a couple of minutes. So when that's done, it should automatically serve the website in your browser, or you can just type localhost 3010. And here's the UI for the Giveth DAP. So congratulations, uh, you just deployed the Giveth DAP locally. Uh, if you actually want to know how to use the DAP, go ahead and check out the next video. And lastly, if you'd like to contribute, please go ahead and take a look at the issues. And just remember to use the develop branch for all pull requests. All right, see you again. Thanks.